so I'm afraid one of us is sleepwalking. And before I explain myself, I just want to say thank you to all the people that left a comment on our last video. There was almost 2,000 of them, and I literally read almost all of them. I also pinned my favorite, and I'm going to be doing the same thing on this video 24 hours from now. So feel free to drop a comment if you'd like to see yours pinned, or you just have something to say that you'd really like me to read. Chances are... I will. And thank you so much for all the people that subbed since our last video. You guys truly don't understand how much that means to us. And as promised, here is a shout out to 10 new subs and 10 OG subs. <laughs> Look at all these amazing peeps. They need to be celebrated. I'm going to be choosing 10 more new subs and 10 more existing subs to shout out on our next video. So be sure to hit the button, and while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Now, I've never been known to have a history in sleepwalking, and I don't think Kristen has either. But what I discovered the other morning makes me think that something's up. Instead of explaining it, let me just show you. Okay, so I went upstairs to grab my phone so I could show you what I woke up to this morning. Uh, what? There's Peach. What's up, poops? Just chilling. Yeah. Uh, I I really don't know what to make of any of this. I think this might be a little too much for a ghost, but we've got a blanket around the TV. We've got my golf clubs on the couch. Okay, those were upstairs last I checked. Clothes on the floor. Whatever this is taking a ride on the stationary bike. Oh, it's a unicorn with a pan on its head. Okay, seems weird and slightly deliberate. Oh, and look what I just discovered. A jar of pickles going for a ride. Okay. Oh, and there's the cap. No cap. Oh, that's random. Excuse me, vacuum. Uh, and that's more random. This goes over there. Nailed it! I, I don't know what to think right now. This is too weird. Thank you, Pickle Transport. Appreciate your service. Well, uh, looks like I need to get to the bottom of this randomness. Right, Mr. Unicorn? Okay, well, it couldn't have been Poop Jay because cage was locked and she doesn't have thumbs. So she couldn't lift things like the pot or the golf clubs. Now I know everybody's first reaction is going to be to blame the ghost. And if you're new to my channel, we've had a history of paranormal activity. I've got plenty of videos on my page documenting it in great detail. But what happened in the living room is far beyond what I think a ghost is capable of. And as always, there was only one way I was gonna get answers. You guessed it, by placing cameras all around the house. Predictable, I know. I put one facing the area that was most affected, and another one in our bedroom to confirm who was behind the destruction. And on night one, I almost solved the mystery. False alarm. She just had to use the bathroom. And the next morning, everything downstairs seemed to be undisturbed. Or at least I th thought it was. Okay, moment of truth. And hey. Hi. Everything's back to normal? Huh? What? Is this for real? We got cheese slapped? In the middle of the night? Double cheese slapped. Okay. So that was left open all night. <sighs> oh, lemons on the floor. At least the damage was minimal this morning. But unfortunately, I don't think it was Kristen that did this and it was probably me. Oh, let's go check the tape. Okay, so it was me. 
that's embarrassing. I honestly don't know why this all started. Never been known to sleepwalk. Probably due to stress or something like that. I don't know. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. It got so much worse. Hold on. 